What's going on guys? This is Jacob here. You guys asked for it. You wanted me to upgrade my Robinhood trading bot. So we're going to do just that in this video. Previously, I made a trading bot for Robinhood using the RSI indicator. We're going to make it a little bit more better and complex uh, by adding support and resistance to this trading bot. So let's hop in and start upgrading this Robinhood bot. All right, guys, what's up? Let's get started. So I just finished adding the upgrades of adding support and resistance to my previous bot. The code for this bot is on GitHub, which is in the description below. And once again, we did make the initial RSI bot for Robinhood in my previous video. In this video, we're adding on to it. So I'll talk about some of the changes. Um, so we all know that it made trades when the RSI was equal to or below 30. But sometimes those weren't always, you know, a good, a good, you know, reversal entry point. So by adding support and resistance, it kind of helps with uh, securing that the position um, is going to be a reversal. Obviously, it's not a guarantee, but it adds a, another layer on top of it to minimize our risk. So what I've done here for this bot is I've added a current support and current resistance variable. Okay, both down here. So I set them to zero initially. And then what I do is anytime we the hour is zero, well, the minute is zero, but you know, every hour basically, um, we reset the support and resistance so they kind of get redrawn on the screen. Like, like I said, this Robinhood bot doesn't have really a user interface, so it's kind of hard to determine how it works. And, and I had to go on trading view and, and you know, kind of draw out some stuff, but um, without a user interface, it's hard to tell. But um, you know, we have to do with what we're given. Um, so every hour we set the support and resistance back to zero. And then I, I we print to the screen resetting support and resistance. And then what I do is here is where we actually set the support and resistance. So if the current close price is less than or equal to current support, or current support is equal to zero, we set current support equal to the close price. Okay. And then we print it to the screen. We do the same with the resistance. Um, if the close price is greater than current resistance, then we set it. And then the rest of the same, we're still um, appending our prices to calculate the RSI, the relative strength index. And now when we go to trade, which is down here, um, we, ha we added a couple and statements. So not only does it have to be less than or equal to 30, but also the close price needs to be less than or equal to a current support. Um, so that's what we added. And then when we sell, uh, when the RSI is greater than or equal to 70 and we're at a current resistance and the close price is uh, greater than or equal to current resistance. So we've added another layer onto our trading bot to um, help minimize, um, you know, bad entries and our risk ultimately. So uh, right now it's four o'clock. So the market is closed, but I'm going to run this tomorrow and let you know how well it does. Once again, we're going to be trading Ford stock because it's a cheap stock and I will see you. All right, guys, so it's the next day, and this is what we made. It ended up buying Ford stock at 11.19 a.m. Um, for 6.29 per share, and it ended up selling at 12.08 p.m. for 6.34 per share, meaning we made about five, five cents per share, so a little under 1%, 0.9%, which is awesome. Um, so it's great that it made money. Um, if I check my account here, it is, it is, sorry, it is a little bit skewed because we are in a different position, but overall it is up. So we can say that it made about 0.9%, uh, for the day. So super exciting stuff that it's working. Um, I think we need, if I was going to upgrade it even more, we need to like add some back testing to see if this strategy would be well over six months or a year and maybe some graphical, um, you know, auto auto drawing like support lines and resistance lines and RSI on a chart. I think that'd be awesome as well. But so far, you know, we have a pretty solid system here and adding the support and resistance definitely makes me more confident in this Robinhood stock trading bot. Um, like, like I said, uh, the description or uh, the bot will be available in the description below. You do need to have a little bit of programming knowledge. So maybe I'll make a simple app where if you're not a programmer, you can easily log in and run it. Obviously, I'm not guaranteeing this app is going to make you a ton of money, but so far it's doing pretty well and it's a 
an option, a potential to make money. Um, but you know, the strategy is very simple. Um, but anyways, there you guys go. I upgraded the Robinhood trading bot, adding support and resistance uh, to the RSI as well, to the R uh, and on top of the RSI indicator. So um, it's a bit more powerful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found value. And let me know in the comments below on what you want to see. Uh, I would love if you hit that subscribe button and like button if you found value. And we'll see you in the next video next week, guys. See ya.